Hello everyone, this is a devotion. Uh, today's passage I'll read from Psalms 44. Uh, the psalmist says here, We have heard with our ears, O God. Our Father have told us the deeds you did in their days, in the days of old. The old, in the days of old, how these people passed on the messages with their children and their coming generation. How they talked about what the God's work. And it's amazing that their mind was on uh, speaking about God's word or maybe God's work with coming generation. And the other generation work was hearing with their ears about God's work. Isn't it both the ways? Like people were speaking about God's work with the coming generation and they heard and the coming generation heard about the old days, in the days of old the deeds you did in that days amazing like today we are so privileged to share our uh, life with others where uh, what god has done in our life and we are able to share with people like how much god loves us and how much he works in our life with our people with our church with our people who are not yet saved but god's hand is upon them also they god doesn't want anyone to be uh, be lost but he wants everyone to come in this fold. And same thing in verse, directly I'll go in verse 3. For they did not gain position of the land by their own sword. They did not gain by the position of the land by their own sword. Nor did their own arm save them. Though they took the sword along with them. Uh, though, though they must have ha had the arms. Uh, to save them but it was your right hand your arm the light of your countenance because you favored them God's favor was upon the Israel therefore they were able to gain the position of the land and and therefore they were able to save themselves it's because of the God's right hand and his arm and the light of his countenance has saved them and because God favored them isn't it today the God's favor is upon our life uh, like interesting thing in verse says that there was no minus of sword or there is there was no minus of um, but they uh, they took their strength along with them they they had the sword of, of, with them but it is God's right hand gave them a victory so beautiful thing is today uh, from this passage we can learn how much those generations spoke about God with each other and they were so uh, like so they were so excited to share about God's work with the coming generation with the children and and the generation was able to hear about God's deed uh, which he did in their days uh, like Jeremiah also says in uh, verse nine verse 23 chapter 9 verse 23 let not the wise man glory in his wisdom and wisdom will not save let not mighty man glory in his might which might will not save which here in the uh, psalm chapter 44 is uh, psalmist says that not arm not uh, not the sword but it's god's right hand and god's arm saved them and it was god's favor was upon them so that, that's why it's, we cannot glory in the wisdom, we cannot glory in the might, and we cannot glory in the riches. But here verse 24 says that let him who glories glory in this, that he understands and knows me, that I am the Lord exercising loving kindness, judgment and righteousness in the earth. So we need to brag about uh, God. We need to brag on Lord. We have to brag on Jesus, not upon our deeds, not upon our arms, not upon our sword. Though we may take this, this uh, like we we may we may go out with with the uh, with our uh, strength, but it is God who gives the victory. So let's glory, glo give. Let's uh, let us give glory uh, in in everything what God has done in our life. Though we work hard, uh, we may have a big task before us. Let give give God glory in everything, and He will bring it to pass. He will give the victory because His right hand and His uh, uh, arm will save because His favor is upon us. Today we have a special favor, like Jesus died for us. He has risen for us. He is praying for us. His favor is upon us. Throne of grace is with us. So let's. 
let's seek his face let's seek him this uh, morning or this week or this month uh, let's glorify him let's give let let us give glory in everything for what he has done in our life like in closing like psalms chapter 1 verse 21 says paul is saying to live is christ and to die is gain right to live is christ is nothing else but christ is not no work uh, can be uh, glorified if we, if we have done also but it's god who has done he has given the victory amen so have a beautiful day have a great day read this psalms 44 and let's talk about it let's hear about it amen so i'll pray for you thank you lord for this beautiful day and bless each and everyone who is listening to this uh, online devotion and give them a wonderful day because you are the one who gives victory and saves and uh, it's your right hand and it's your arms saves lord thank you father in jesus name we ask amen